People living in a part of Marrero are really uneasy tonight following a violent weekend. Three separate shootings left four people dead, and it all happened between Friday and Sunday, really over the weekend. WDSU's Morgan Lentis has been looking into all of these cases. She is live on the West Bank with what the community has to say about this violence. Morgan. Well, Travers, we talked to several people today who live near those three shooting scenes, and two of them told me they are now considering moving. And the unfortunate thing is these are people who are lifelong residents we talked to. Many say you used to be able to leave your doors unlocked in Marrero, but not anymore. So late Friday night, a man was shot on 4th Street. He died a short distance away on Silver Lily Lane. Then on Saturday, a man and woman were found shot and killed inside a truck on Bay Adams Drive. Now, one neighbor who was too afraid to show his face on camera says he heard what he now believes were three shots late in the afternoon there. He says apparently no one called the police until a couple hours later. That was a scary part was what if even not us, anybody else was outside and a straight bullet and it's a bystander. I'm glad when I heard what I heard, I wrote it off and I didn't come outside because what if I would have stumbled upon somebody walking down the street? And so I'm standing here live along Ames Boulevard, and this is where that third deadly shooting happened last night around 1030. The victim was actually found lying in the parking lot of this business behind me. One witness told me he heard nine gunshots last night. Reporting live in Marrero, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.